We are definitely living in a society where dumpling bars are popping up all over the place. And I firmly believe that in order to appreciate the art and the labor that goes into them, you need to have a crack at making them yourself. And today, I'm gonna give you a stock standard, super simple recipe to follow so you can enjoy them at home. Okay, so to make your life a lot easier when it comes to making dumplings, you need to be really, really prepared. So we've got our little action station prepared over here. It's all happening. Saucepan on, full of water, bring that up to the boil. And we've got a large fry pan on here. Get a really, really high heat in there. And then we can go in just a decent drizzle of oil in there. And we're gonna to start to cook off the shiitake mushrooms. Now, the shiitake for me adds a, it's got a beautiful meaty flavor to it uh, and an incredible texture. So we don't wanna chop them up too fine. You still want a little bit of texture, a little bit of bounce in there. And it just gives you that mouth feel when you're chewing on those luscious dumplings. So I'm just gonna spread them around. Try to get some really nice color on those. And the purpose of cooking them before they go into the mix is get a little bit of color, get a little bit of that, that rich mushroom flavor to come out, but also to remove some moisture. So you don't want to have them in the mix, then you steam them and you get a, a little bit too much moisture in your dumpling. Cook a little bit of that out and it's just gonna give you a much better mix. This is our pork mince here. So we've got about 500 grams of mince. We've got some finely grated garlic. I'm gonna keep some of that aside because that's gonna go into the dressing, which is gonna bring all of these together. And some grated ginger. Now, I, I love my ginger. I love that beautiful warmth that it gives. So we've got a couple of tablespoons of really finely grated ginger in there. These have colored up really nicely. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna rescue those. I'm gonna remove them out of there. Just strain off any of the excess oil and they'll go into our mix. They're even like a little bit crispy, which is nice. So we know that we've taken them just far enough. A little bit of sugar just to balance everything out. So like half a teaspoon, a little bit of white pepper. This is a personal thing. Like you can go a little bit of white pepper, but I really enjoy that smoky flavor. And then we've got sesame seed. So I'm just gonna give that about half a teaspoon and probably a good teaspoon of the soy. That's gonna give us that saltiness and that's our seasoning. A little bit of shashing or Chinese cooking wine. So just a little drizzle. It's about finding that balance and getting them to work and, and not work against each other. You want them to all work together. I like to use about that section of the, the spring onion and just really, really finely slice that. And there really is no other way to do this. You don't do it with a spoon. You don't do it with a wooden spoon or fork, nothing like that. You gotta use these guys. Get in there, mix it all through, get a nice even spread. Make sure those ingredients are all the way through and then you're ready to roll. All right, mix has come together. It's all looking pretty uniform. I'm just gonna set that aside and we'll get sorted with the wrappers. There's definitely a process when it comes to making a, a batch of dumplings. And the easiest way to do it is to have them all laid out and you do it, do it in processes. So lay out all of your wrappers or, or lay out whatever bench space you've got. If you can lay out, I think I'll probably get a dozen happening here. Lay them all out, then go ahead, fill them all and then go back and roll them all. It's just, instead of, laying one down, filling it, rolling it, moving it. You do, we're just trying to reduce movements. When you're doing something that is very repetitive over and over in order to make a big batch, you need a bit of a plan. So we're gonna lay them all out. Another crucial part of making the dumplings, you don't want to put too much filling in. What happens, it's like when you make a, a tortellini, same deal, you put too much filling in, the dumpling wrapper or your pasta dough is gonna cook a lot faster than what your filling will. Just make sure you it, everything's in proportion. So you've got a nice amount of your filling in there. And just, just double check everything before you put it in. There's a bit of ginger, a bit of spring onion, definitely pork mince and a bit of shiitake. If you want to plan ahead, you want to have them in a couple of days time or you want to stash them and pull them out as an emergency and then just throw them into some boiling water. Make sure if you're going to do them in a big batch, you must freeze them straight away. What happens is the acidity in the spring onion and the ginger and the garlic, it will start to, I guess, break down the protein, which is the pork mince. So by all means, go ahead, do up a big batch, stash them, but put them in the freezer. Otherwise, you'll end up with a texture inside those dumplings. And after the first one, you won't get back for more. So there's our first dozen out of the way. I've just got a little, little cup of water here. What I'm gonna do, just with your finger, if you've got a little pastry brush, anything like that, go for it. But you just wanna just rub down each side, down the edges. And now we roll, here we go, over the top. Press it down, 
to lock it in. And then that's when I like to pick it up so I can feel what's happening in there, push out any of the air bubbles and just get a really good contact around there. Okay, so we're just gonna get these two sides here and basically just pull them around like that, pinch them together and then just check all of your sides and make sure it's all sealed. That's it. Okay, so dumplings are prepped and ready to go. We've got our saucepan of water boiling away and I'm only gonna do these in, I'll do it in two batches. You don't wanna overcrowd the pot. So we're just gonna drop these in, half of these at a time. All right, so they're probably gonna take five minutes, four to five minutes to, to cook through to the center. In that time, I'm gonna bust up a little dressing, which is, it's an absolute go-to of mine. It's got heat, it's got acidity, it's got saltiness. So it's everything that you want to really, uh, I guess, celebrate the dumpling and make it that little bit more interesting. Soy sauce, about a quarter cup. Some chili paste. So anything like this, I've always got good chili condiments in the fridge at home. Whether they're homemade, whether they're store-bought, you always stumble across those ones that you continue to go back to. So we've got the, the chili paste in there, black vinegar, one of my favorite ingredients. It just adds that, that other dimension that you can't get from just a straight rice vinegar or a white vinegar. And then Xiaoxing, the, the cooking one, just for a little bit of bitterness to balance out the saltiness that's happening in here. Just a touch. We've got the grated ginger here. And this is again, a, a personal thing. If you don't want it to be too hot, back off a little bit. If you want some more warmth, throw a bit more ginger in. About half a teaspoon of the, the grated garlic and just a little bit of sugar, so about a teaspoon. We'll get them in there, and then we're just gonna whisk that together. Now I'm just gonna wait for the dumplings. Into the bowl, look at that. It's really not that difficult, and once you've done it a few times, you've got the right recipe, you've got the right processes, I guarantee this will become a family event, 100% on the weekend. Get the kids together, get them on the table, teach them a life skill of how to roll a good dumpling. Into the bowl, this cracking dressing over the top. Be generous, because that's where all the fun's at. And then just a sprinkle of sesame seeds and a bit of finely shredded spring onion over the top. And I know it's just for me, but you eat with your eyes, so you've got to make it intriguing. You've, you've got to look at it and want to dive into it straight away. There we go. Fork. Actually, I'm going to go spoon so I can get a fair amount of that dressing. There we go. Dumplings have got to be the ultimate comfort food in the comfort of your own home. <laughs>